Let's go. Oh. A friendly word of advice. Test of courage. Hi, to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please be sure to exercise caution. Ah! Oh God. <laughs> How was that? Were you scared? <laughs> Who towels? Is, is she back? No. Who goes there? So, is there really a ghost around here? Oh, I this time I have a feeling that it's staring right at us. If they don't. Talking to me. What is Jester, happening? I have completed the task you gave me. From this day forth, Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. What? Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Dottore. <laughs> Dottore. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Oh, let's go. Oh my God. Fury. No, he cannot. He can fly. <laughs> I missed that way. Oh, fire was on. Nice, she looks so good. Oh. Scaramouche, the mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he was like mid-air. He was attacking mid-air. Oh my god. What is going on in this situation? The Tory is still here? He like found out about the Tory and he was like... You know, basically, middle finger up to you. <laughs> I'm gonna take some time for myself. But I'm gonna be mad. If I don't see Hu Tao in that event, I'll, I'm gonna be mad. That event was literally like all scary, scary, scary. And if she doesn't show up, I'm gonna be pissed. Act version 3.3 special mean. program. I'm your host, Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice Finally. of the Genshin Impact. Oh, wait, here we go. Ooh. We ran into two people at the Academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatara Suna incident. From what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatara Suna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. That's Scaramucci's story. Tatara Suna, like, like well, the guy that was there. Right about one thing. Tatara Suna was sabotaged. Oh. Also going to be a new playable character in version 3. Go. So let's talk about that. I'm sure many of our viewers Wait. are curious about his talents. Heck yeah, sure thing. Kakihara? Let's have a look at the Wanderer in combat. All right, this is it. This is the the one moment. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force Look a at him. Just to occupy silence. The wind look, rises. He's like he's like mid-air, bro. Bro, he really is like a five-star Heizo. He like stomps on you. It's like a Rasengan almost. All right, Patrick, you're up. Help introduce the Wanderer for us. Sure. Well, I didn't change that much. The Wanderer is a catalyst user and has an animal vision, so yeah, he of uses course. wind blades to perform ranged normal attacks. Wind blades. Wait a second. Wind blades. Not the same <laughs> as the Traveler's wind blade. <laughs> okay, okay. So as everyone probably already noticed, the Wanderer can oh hover in the God. air when he casts his elemental skill. Upon using his elemental skill, Bro. he will first deal AOE damage before leaping into the air and entering a hovering state. Overworld so, S tier. Hovering, the Wanderer's normal and charge attacks will be converted into Kugo, Fushudan, and Kugu Tofukai, respectively. Say what? The damage they deal and Dude, he can go so high. Their damage will be considered normal and charge attack damage. He flew up to where the also, Ruin Drake was. Also, Kugu Tofukai will not consume stamina. 
and he can remain hovering for a certain duration. Mm, oh awesome. my god, Let's that is fly. like... <laughs> I know, I know, right? But he can't stay hovering forever. While hovering, the wanderer uh. constantly consumes Kuguryoku points to maintain oh his god. hovering state, which is the blue meter you see on the screen. That is ridiculous. Even if he doesn't move or attack, hovering will still consume Kuguryoku points. Okay. So this mechanic oh, works so a little differently than our typical stamina meter. There are many possible actions the wanderer can perform while hovering in the air, which Wait. all rely on Kuguryoku points rather than stamina. Oh. So, for example, sprinting mid-air will consume additional Kuguryoku points to accelerate mid-air, and holding the sprint button will cause persistent point consumption to maintain speed. So, so the sprint bar is default sprint. Jumping expends extra Kuguryoku points to increase hovering height. Holding jump will cause persistent Kuguryoku point consumption to keep increasing hovering height. Oh. Of course, running out of points will end his hovering state. But that's cool though. So your your stamina is not the same as his points. Exactly. So with his talent, Jade Claim Flower. So you don't fall to your death. His elemental skill. If it contacts Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, that instance of the skill will receive a corresponding buff effect depending on which element was contacted. Uh, so for Is that example, Kazo? increasing his Kuguryoku points cap, attack, crit rate, or restoring a set amount of energy upon hitting opponents with a normal or charged attack. The Wanderer can have up to two different kinds of these buffs simultaneously. Ooh. Oh, look, Wait, look, I don't get it. Out. Part of the halo behind him changes oh, the okay. of the buffs yeah. you get. So travelers will be able to easily understand what effects the wanderer currently has. I so like it, it buffs that. him. Okay. It's helpful and still looks really Yeah, it is. It's going to be yeah. essay. Power <laughs> so cut by Castle. Walking another talent, Gales of Reverie. Dude, he can ready? freaking I'm fly. Ready. <laughs> Yay. Like literally the only character in the game. What did you say? That's a must pull for me. I'm, I'm sorry. Now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Farozan. I'm um, old. See if I can pick that up. Ooh, what the heck? That's her idol? Did she look so good? What is it that you would like to learn more about? Different forms of pressure based puzzle mechanisms? The base layer design. You sound super familiar. Huh. Wait. Did you forget to call me Madam Farozan just now when you asked your question? Whoa! Wait a minute. What? There's nothing wrong with being afraid of thunder, even at an older age. Oh, Who's the voice? Gosh. Sassy. Yeah, I know. And smart, too. Oh, okay. She seems so awesome. He's Sounded like Brittany doing a different voice. Like the sure. VA for I Hotel. Know, her design is so cool and really detailed. I love it. Yeah, she has like a lot so of like the, the desert kind of... um. Young, she's actually an old person. Like, abilities. Uh, where's my teeth? <laughs> well, she's not... That old? A hundred years ago. Uh, she's using the string list. Oh no. She EM. Ooh, wait. She has CC with her skill? Or a charge attack? I love all the geometric shapes when she's playing. Did you guys see that? Yes. There's so yeah, that's cool too. And I took geometry. It looks so cool. She has so many shapes. So like she has the an X and it's not a shape. But, a bow yeah. with her, weapon. her normal attacks are the usual bow attacks you'd expect from a bow user. So there's not too much to say about that. But her <laughs> skills are where things get interesting. Her elemental skill deploys a polyhedron. Dude. Oh, that's a skill. Okay. To enemies. After using her skill, her next aimed shot will become a special attack that creates a vortex, pulling nearby objects and opponents in. Oh, nice. So she that's, that's kind of cool. Together. And there's also another thing about her special charged attack. Some it will chill. create a vortex effect at its point of impact. And if the attack hits an enemy or ally member, it'll apply a mark and create a vortex after a short delay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So it looks like there will be a lot of potential uses Wait. for this attack. Travelers will have to experiment with it and see what they come up with. Yeah, I think it'd be amazing to try hitting teammates with the arrow in co-op mode and have them charge into the enemies to group them all together. I'll have to see who wants to try that with me. <laughs> Wait, what? After unlocking so we have... the talent Impetuous Flow, the time required for fully charging Farozan's next shot will be reduced, 
Dude, he's so sick. The target enemy's animal resistance. Polyhedron like Sarah? Releases a whirlwind pulse. Throughout its oh, yeah, yeah. The dazzling polyhedron will continuously move along a triangular path. Once it reaches each corner of that triangular path, it will unleash one more whirlwind pulse. Yeah, one minute she's here, the next she's hmm. gone. Yeah, it kind of is like Sarah just. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the um the buff though. Oh, let's go. Is she the the, the Sumeru? Taking her all across Sumeru. Is it is it uh, double? Yes, there we go. rewards when dispatched on a Sumeru expedition for 20 hours. That's a good pass though. Mentor and Haravatat has 100 years of experience in solving puzzles. I said in buff and her base. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, that's like that's just her base build. Yeah, I wonder. Let's talk about the upcoming event wishes. In oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So this is true. Ito will be available via their own event wishes. This is true. Farazan will also be making her debut in these event wishes. In the Ito, Ito. We'll be seeing rerun event wishes for both the Raiden Shogun and Kamisato Ayato. And last That's good, least, but... The new five-star catalyst, oh. Tule Tula's Remembrance, will be appearing in a new weapon event wish. Hey. I hope travelers will have fun experimenting and trying new combinations. Desert Pavilion yeah. and okay. Flower of We've Paradise Law. We've talked about a ton of new content, so why don't we take a quick break with another redemption code? Sounds good. Oh, Roll that's... The, the desert one is for sure Scaramouche dedicated. Welcome back to the version 3.3. The heck program. is that? Okay, Patrick, what do we have next? So next, we'll be covering the upcoming events for the new version. That's right. We've already yes. mentioned the Test of Courage event, and I'm sure plenty of you were wondering about it's that. It's a sword. So let's start there. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be here to participate in the Test of Courage. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. If you carelessly go running into the event... DPS for animals? Yeah. One little misstep. Besides jail. ...this will swallow you up. <laughs> oh. Some strange Dude, what's and unusual going on? things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. This is your last Oh, chance. shoot. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Uh, Weird. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, like where is Hutao, man? Yeah, Come I mean, on, that's the perfect time. Marriage. So I'm playing the event together in co-op mode. Oh, oh you play co-op? Nice. Yeah, super fun. That'd be a lot, very in hectic. To this mini game, the test of Dude, what is that? That's, what is that sword? Challenge. Travelers will even have a chance. I guess it's her face, right? Again. So next up, Weird. we have a race event called Across the Wilderness. Yeah, that's Your it. objective collecting balloons Ooh, nice uh, seems like the wanderer's abilities might come in real handy here <laughs> i know right so in this event each stage will have wilderness balloons scattered all around marketing more let's go they finally brought it back and of course, this is oh my gosh event, and i for one am super finally this is my, my first time playing this uh many of you might already be familiar they actually brought it back but there have been a few changes. Let me introduce uh -oh. what travelers can expect oh, no. to see this time around. Oh no, what they do to some it. Some of the basics this time. You know, players either hide or see. I'm so happy, man. I never had the place before. Okay, wait a second. There uh, actually noise. might be some new travelers out there who've never seen this event before. Ah. So why don't you start with some of the basics? Right, good point. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, well, you don't have to do that, but. Then. This is a game Look at him. With a long history in Mondstadt. In a forbidden Did she just say combat? Dust and sand. Mysterious foes have assembled lines of fortifications to stop your coming. Pause champ. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. A new edition of Misty Dungeon will arrive in version 3.3. Oh, I didn't play this either. Misty but Dungeon. This time around, there will be a total of seven trials with different themes awaiting you in the Misty Dungeon. Hmm. And challenges will appear. Sumeru's Misty Dungeon. That actually makes sense this time, yeah. The Leyline Disorder's effects. Genius Invocation TCG is a game where you use a Oh, you could just duel anybody? To duel against an opponent. The objective what the heck? is to defeat all of your opponent's character cards. That's right. Also, oh. there are many features and mechanics in the game oh, that's that cool. with Genshin Impact's gameplay. So it shouldn't be too hard for players to get the hang of. 
Right, I even saw some oh. elemental reactions in the Yeah, game. those elemental reactions. Now, a constructed deck must contain character cards. Mangu Kenki. As you might expect, these character cards have a normal attack, an elemental skill, and an elemental burst. <sighs> so when a character card <laughs> deals elemental damage to an enemy, it will cause them to be affected by that element. Then you can switch to a character card Senora, with a different element or... and use their abilities to trigger an elemental reaction. Wait, That's actually kind of cool. Monster character cards? Can we even make a deck of like just the monsters from the game? Like a move You're too. You're really getting into this, Max. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I like card games. Who doesn't? <laughs> huh. So, in Genius Invocation TCG, all actions require the you heck? to spend elemental dice. Each round, both you and your opponent will roll eight elemental dice. Each of these elemental dice can have any one of eight elemental attributes. Hold on, but there's only seven elements in the world of Tabat. That's, that's not right. bad. So, in addition to the seven to standard support. elements, Let's, oh yeah, there's Tamaya. also one called the Omni Element. The elemental dice required for a character card to perform an action correspond to the character's element. So, for example, oh, so a it's pyro like... character like D. Luke needs either pyro or omni elemental dice to perform an action. Yeah, so it's like you, you can do anything if you have that one. Crystal clear. Also, elemental the omni dice one. can be used to switch characters or play a variety of other cards, Chef Mao. such as equipment cards, event cards, and support cards. In TCG, travelers can earn player experience. Which will increase your player level. Where and is as your this? Level increases, you'll be able to challenge more characters and NPCs. Be sure to give Where's the area? Travelers should note that playing against your friends or other travelers won't count towards any leaderboards or provide any rewards. No, so at that. least a leaderboard. Oh, for fun. <sighs> Why not a leaderboard? <laughs> okay, that's everything we have for Genius Invocation TCG, and that brings us to the end of today's special program. I wonder if that's oh, like. What did you think? Why do I, is it have in like the over? cat's tail There's so much that this version has to offer <laughs> yeah i can't even take it all because i kept showing diona and cats it, I, it might be like in the cat's tail imagine i think i just gained we can actually go inside points just doing this whole thing so wow <laughs> But there you have it for the 3.3 live stream. Honestly, I enjoyed it. Um, after seeing what Scar and Moose can do, I'm most certainly pulling for him. Uh, absolutely, no doubt about it. I saw the drip marketing, but I was like, I wasn't sure if I wanted him or not. But after seeing what he can do, I mean, the man can literally fly. Like, no other character can do that. So, for sure, definitely pulling for him. But um, also, the interlude, our conquest, will include how he became the Wanderer. So that's also interesting as well. The tour is part of it, and the heat is a part of it. It's like literally a continuation of what happened in the Ark Conquest. So I'm really glad like we we just getting right back into that, and we get to know what happened to Skyrimush and how he became the Wanderer. Then there's the whole scary event, which is actually a real life thing they do in Japan. Um, at least just like the theme of it. Um, Ito's part of it. Aito, he was in there as well. And um, I really hope to see Hu Tao. May not see her because it's the Inazuma event, but you know, maybe. I don't know. It's just it's a scary event, but I guess not everything scary has to do with Hu Tao, to be fair. But hopefully we'll see that. And then uh, the events consisted of a combat event with like a, the, the Misty Dungeon uh, Wind Trace, which for me, I never got to play before. So I'm excited about that. Uh, the other two were, you know, collect the balloons and then, of course, the scary one. So. Um, Wind Trace is a big highlight for me there, and of course the uh, combat event, and this is just so sick I'm looking at right now. And last but not least, uh, Genius Invocation TCG, which I'm not too big in the card games, but of course I'll check it out and see what's going on with it. But um, yeah, it looked like it might be like in the cat's tail, like, because there was a lot of like Diona references in there, so... Hopefully we'll check that out and see what that's all about. But but that'll do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I hope you guys are ready for the next patch, and I will catch you guys in the next one.